I went to San Francisco, California to ask some of the breakout stars how they achieve their internet success. Every time people think that you know, no, there's going to be no new faces. Then someone else comes along, whether it's a, a kind of phenomenon like Fred. Let's pretend this little bunny is Cleopatra. Take this, you stupid idiot! Gosh! Or if you go a little bit further back, I mean, even Chris Crocker. Leave Britney Spears alone right now! Came along at a time after, you know, maybe everybody assumed that we had seen all that we were going to see. So I don't think you can ever assume that we've seen everything that we're going to see in terms of online video. I think at the end of the day, it's all about talent. And if you're good at it, it will show online, whether it's through text, whether it's through video or audio or any other form. The reality is that if, if, if the passion doesn't show, it won't sell. So I think business models arrive because you're good at it and people see that connection. Then figure out, are there enough endemic advertisers in that space. Meaning, are there enough advertisers that you can go to that as the site grows that you can then go and ask them for advertising. So it has to be a rational decision. Hey, I'm Lucas Crookshank, aka Fred of Figglehorn on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, I do the Fred videos on YouTube. It's the number one channel on YouTube. And um, I started them like two years ago on October 30th, 2006. Hey! If you want a lot of people to see your videos and you could like make it on like a, a popular topic or something like maybe Miley Cyrus or something, I don't know, like just do it on a popular topic so it gets searched a lot. That'd be a good idea for a lot of people to see it. I mean seriously, Cleopatra becoming the president of my class is like Ron Paul getting the president of the United States. You try to spend your whole life being broke so you're not accustomed to having money and live a really simple bachelor lifestyle and then find something you're really passionate about and speak about it into a camera and find other people who are passionate about the same thing and then you'll have some fun. I think um, one of the main keys to myself becoming um, internet successful was, um, you know, really utilizing um, the social networking tools and, you know, fo posting my content, you know, and on being active on Twitter and MySpace and Facebook and utilizing YouTube bulletins and commenting on other users. I mean, every every step along the way when I had 100 subscribers, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, I, I utilized the same marketing tools and I never stopped promoting myself on these sites. And I really believe that my engagement in the YouTube community has allowed me to become successful and watching other videos and commenting and doing collaborations and really being present on the site and not just dumping content and leaving it there, but really engaging the users and engaging other content creators on YouTube. They say, figure out your business model, choose something people search for, don't anticipate getting rich, and use social media. What do you do to build a brand online? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I'm Sarah Austin, and this is Pop17. Oh,